What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? I am rested up and ready to play Spider-Man 2. I, I mean, we're we're playing Detective Pikachu Returns. Tim. Tim. Run. Run. Uh, Minetric, calm down. Okay. All right, so the Minetric's not happy with us. Nah, I've been... I've been sleeping a lot today. After that first video, I'm like, yeah, I'll take a nap. And it turned into a longer sleep. Because I'm like, eh, I'm going to be playing Spider-Man 2 tonight, and I'm very excited. But for now, let's talk to some Pokemon. She still looks awfully suspicious of us. Let's try again later. Okay. Hey, Growlithe, sorry to but Oh, God, I don't want to look at Tim's ass. I move. Uh, but would it be alright if we can ask you some questions? Uh, we're here to catch the thief, and we need your help to do that. You're willing to talk to us if it'll help Sanji. Thanks. Growlithe's nickname for Dennis. Uh, never as uh, near as I can tell. Alright, his full name is Sanji Dennis. So I guess Sanji makes sense. Anyway, Growlithe, can we start with the questions? Gotcha. As Dennis's partner, it's your job to guard the mansion. And we already know the key to the jewel storage room is around your neck. It's important to Dennis, so guarding it is important to you. Makes sense. She says she'd never let anyone other than Dennis or Barnes ever touch the key. So that's why you feel extra responsible for what happened, huh? She's really got a strong sense of responsibility. Don't worry, the two of us are going to crack this case. Well, Do you remember anything about the time of the incident? You don't know because you were napping. What? Your breakfast was so tasty that you ate too much and it made you sleepy. I know that feeling. <laughs> Been there, believe me. What are you even talking about? You woke up when Barnes got home. That would have been right before all the commotion happened. And when you woke up, your precious key was gone. Yeah, I can tell you're upset. We'll do whatever it takes to help us catch the thief. Thanks. We'll come and ask you for, assist, uh, for an assist if anything comes up. She says Barnes is a kind and well-mannered person. He and Dennis are close, and she's never uh, seen them fighting or arguing. Mr. Dennis really does seem to trust Barnes, after all. And Growlithe likes Barnes, too. Judging from what Growlithe says, it's hard to think of Barnes as uh, a likely culprit. There wasn't anything in Growlithe's testimony that could help us prove Barnes' innocence. Only one left uh, to ask is Clefable. I'll do what I can to get Clefable talking to us. Thanks, Pikachu. What? You think we're thieves running to the scene of the crime? You got it all wrong. We're not here to steal anything. We're actually great detectives looking to catch a thief. Please, can you answer some questions? Yes, really, come on, you can trust us. Yeah, help us out, and I'm sure uh, Claudia's bad mood will clear up. I don't think that's going to happen. Seems like a bit of a bitch. <laughs> so you're willing to talk to us. Thanks. Gus Clefable was worried we'd do something bad to, uh, to Mrs. Dennis. Hey. Do you have a job here at the mansion? Eh, no job, per se, unless you count spending time with Claudia. I'm sorry. She seems like a delight. <laughs> Isn't it tough hanging out with someone so prickly? Claudia's not a bad person, you say. Sorry, didn't mean to be insulting. Huh. So Claudia's always arguing with someone or another. But when it's just you and her together, she starts to regret the whole thing. Ah, I get it now. Your job is to cheer her up when she gets into arguments. 
Eh, you're actually pretty nice. I bet Clefable's really important to Mrs. Dennis. Hmm. Did anything strange happen today? Clefable's saying she got really sleepy while playing in the mansion this morning. Interesting. Then she dozed off and doesn't know what happened after that. Hmm, it's too bad. Hmm. What do you think of Barnes? Do you get along with him all right? Claudia doesn't like Barnes, so Clefable tries not to have too much to do with him. But she doesn't think that Barnes is a bad person. After all, she says Barnes, is, uh, Barnes ran to help Turner when he got hurt. Wait, does that mean Clefable saw Barnes going upstairs to help Turner? Yeah, it's gotta. Clefable, what else can you tell us? Clefable was dozing near the front door this morning. When Barnes got home from doing stuff outside, she woke up and greeted him at the door. Dude, Clefable's eyes always freak me out. Like, I get it, she's supposed to be kind of like a big Clefairy, and Clefairy's really cute, but just the beady eyes really just does not fit the big torso on Clefable to me. Then Clefable and Barnes heard Turner cry out on the second floor, so they both went up running upstairs. And that's when, to their surprise, they found Turner on the floor. That means when Turner was attacked, Barnes was still on the first floor. Okay, let's start deducing. Okay, so now this is interesting. She she also fell asleep. Could it be some sort of sleep powder or something was released in the in the house, which made the Pokemon fall asleep, which allowed the culprits to commit the crime. Okay. All right, we've got some useful information. Let's stop for a moment and get our thoughts together. Based on everything we heard, is there anything that suggests Barnes is innocent? Let's review the information we gathered and see what we come up with. Okay, it doesn't seem like he'd betray him, but that's not evidence. Had access to the key doesn't, um... I mean, if anything, that implicates him. Yeah, he returned to the crime. Yeah, exactly. He returned after okay. the crime was committed. We learned that Clefable greeted Barnes when he returned to the mansion. And Growlithe said she woke up at the exact same time. Barnes and the others only became aware of the crime after that. Does that mean Barnes couldn't be the culprit? Barnes was on the first floor when Turner was attacked. And that would have made it very difficult for Barnes to steal the jewel. I'm not sure we can prove Barnes' innocence with this alone. Yeah, we can't exactly disclose the testimony, or that testimony came from Pokemon. No one would believe us. It looks like we're going to need other evidence to prove his innocence. I mean, does he have an alibi? I mean, technically, he could have um, used Ducklet to steal... Whatever. Uh, how can we prove his innocence? Pokemon testimonies alone, yada yada yada. Uh, we can't live the suspicion around Barnes with Clefable's testimony alone. I think we're gonna need some other kind of evidence to prove his innocence. But where should we look for it? Nothing immediately comes to mind. Times like this, it's best to try investigating other leads. We might find a thread somewhere unexpected that leads us back to this. And to get close to the truth of this case, we've got no choice but to find the Pokemon the Witness saw. Witness reported seeing a red Pokemon in Ducklet. I wonder if the Pokemon that cut open the jewel case is the culprit's partner. It makes sense to think that, but no such human was seen by the Witness. Having said that, though, we might learn something if we can find the red Pokemon. But let's head to the city and get some leads on the red Pokemon. I'm sure we'll be able to figure out what Pokemon uh, it actually is. At this point, it seems pretty unlikely that Barnes is the culprit. But then why did Ducklet leave from the second floor window? It seems unlikely that it's got nothing to do with the jewel theft. Finding Ducklet would be the quickest way to confirm that. Good call. Let's head into the city and look for her. Okay, so that's how the flowchart works I kind of like this I wish it kind of gave you more of like a, a like a pulled out version of it so you didn't kind of but 
it, 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 it's serviceable. It gets the job done. You can kind of see how each deduction or each question is linked to each other. So you can see how it works to, to kind of go through the... Okay. To go through everything. Um, did you figure out where Ducklet went after she left the mansion? Let's piece together the information we've gathered. I mean, yeah, likely she's still at the residence. Okay. Whoa. Oh, okay, so we can start deducing without enough evidence. Okay. See, I feel like they should have some sort of, like, limit to how much we can just guess shit. Where should we go? Uh, we should go after Ducklet, search for the red Pokemon, try following Ducklet. I think we have a better lead to go on. Uh, they, uh, supposed to go buy coffee beans. Went to the Hi Hat Cafe. We should probably head to the cafe. Yeah, I I feel like there should be a limit or something. You know, kind of like uh, Ace Attorney has the, the the different strikes when you make um, bad statements in court. Uh, Dongan Rampa has essentially a health meter. Lilla pups? Huh? You mean you won't help me? I understand how you feel, ma'am, but we're in the middle of an investigation right now. Yes, but what should I do? Hmm. Looks like that woman has a problem. Sure does. It doesn't have anything to do with our case, but it's hard not to want to help people who's in trouble. That's the spirit, Tim. If we see a, poke, uh, a person or a Pokemon with a problem, let's do what we can to help them. That's what makes this city, uh, this makes us the city's great detectives. But we do need to prioritize our current case. This is something we can help with when we have the time. Right, first let's hear what she has to say. Good idea. So let me guess, okay, side missions essentially. Excuse me, may I ask what's wrong? My little pup's gone missing. Oh no, what happened? We were taking a walk together in Serenity Park. I guess little pup must have gotten too, uh, must have been having too much fun. He got worked off and he took off like a rocket. I've been searching all over for him. Now I'm exhausted. And that police officer won't look into it for me either. I don't know what to do. We can't just ignore this. That's right, helping people is a detective's job and finding lost Pokemon even more so. We'd like to help you, ma'am. We're detectives, so we're pretty good at looking for lost people in Pokemon. Really? Oh, that would be a huge help. Can you think of anything your Lillipup might have gone, or anywhere your Lillipup might have gone? Well, I've already searched the park pretty thoroughly, but I haven't looked for him in the city yet. Oh, also, my Lillipup likes quiet places, but I'm not sure there are any quiet uh, places like that around here. I think that's enough information for us to go on. Please, wait here while we search for him. I'm so sorry to add your workload when you already look so busy, but thank you. I hope you find my sweet Lillipup. If we see a Lillipup during our investigation, we should talk to it. Okay, so like I said, that's essentially just side missions. P-Dubs! Eh, is it P-Dub? Glad to know you're feeling better. Oh, it's the one that we helped uh, in the prologue. Quote unquote. <laughs> they're kind of dumb, aren't they? Oh, that's cute. Oh, really? They're they're known for their forgetfulness. Okay, they seem happy. What are they talking about? No matter how many times they visit the city, it's always bustling and full of fun. Oh, you run in seasonal winds that take you all over the world, huh? The city seems even livelier than usual whenever the Whimsicott arrive. Oh my god, dude. Those those things would probably wreck my allergies. I get I get um Oh, I get I get a bad stuffy nose with the um or uh, or in a in a sore throat when uh, the cottonwood is really bad in my area. Um Oh man, it's awful. And then when it rains with that cottonwood, everything just gets this just like kind of like wet fuzz on it. It's oh, it's awful. What was I talking about? Ah, oh, you like coming here every year because you can meet so many different Pokemon. Ah, oh, I'm happy to hear that. Mm -hmm. Is this cotton yours? Yeah, the Whimsicott says it's theirs. 
We actually found this in Mr. Dennis's mansion. I don't suppose you've been in there. Maybe you have, maybe you haven't. Come on, you gotta remember at least that much. Oh, this one does remember. What did it, what did it say? It thinks it remembers going into the mansion while playing with its friends. I think so. That's not a very clear answer. Yeah, let's ask for more details. Dude, Whimsicott is really cute. I like I, I love its design. Like the it almost looks like little goat horns. You know, the green bit on the side of their face. I oh, they're super cute. Hey. You said you might have been in the mansion, but how'd you get inside? Hmm, you went through the window with your friends. Why would you do that? You don't remember anything after eating breakfast this morning. The heck does that mean? Please, it's really important. Just try to remember. Some human you don't know asked you to do it. What was the stranger like? You don't remember because it was someone you'd never seen before. Now look here, you might be an accessory to theft. You have no idea what I'm talking about. You think the Whimsicott may have been unknowingly involved in the crime? If they were, they're blissfully ignorant of it. After all, playing pranks is kind of their whole deal. This complicates things. Hey! Have you two seen any red Pokemon around here? Oh, Ponyard is red. Oh! I was so close. I said Bisharp. Ponyard is close. Okay. Ponyard. It's a Pokemon with blades all over its body. And it's true the Ponyard's pretty red. You often run into Ponyard at the Terrace in Serenity Park. And on windy days, you play with Ponyard by picking it up and flying it around. They said they like to fly Ponyard all the way here from Serenity Park. It's a big park just beyond here. Yeah, and the terrace is way over on the far side. Maybe we can find Ponyard there. Do you remember where you last played with Ponyard? Oh, lately you've been playing together every day. Even today. In that case, we might be able to find, uh, find it there now. If we go meet Ponyard, we should be uh, we should be careful uh, about how we treat its favorite rock. It has a favorite rock. Apparently, there's a rock at the terrace that Ponyard really cares about. Eh, one time, they accidentally stepped on it, and then Ponyard got mad, real mad. Eh, that's scary. We better watch where we step. Okay, so I was thinking maybe a Bisharp, but okay, Ponyard is. Same evolution line. Yeah, I don't suppose they've seen Ducklet around, have they? Okay, okay, I get it. You didn't see her. If they didn't see her, I wonder where she went. Do you suppose Ponyard is the red Pokemon we're looking for? Apparently, it's good friends with the Whimsicott that went into the mansion. So it seems pretty likely. It'd probably be the fastest just to go and meet it and ask. But we still have to track down Ducklet. Should we look for Ducklet or Ponyard first? Either is fine by me. We can start with whichever one you'd like. Thanks, Pikachu. I'm leaning towards the Ponyard, personally. I really hope I'm pronouncing that name correctly. Mm -hmm. Uh, this place is huge. That's Serenity Park for you. Whimsicott's at Ponyard hangs around here. And the terrace is the usual meetup spot. Shall we go look? Okay, guys. I'm going to step away for a second. I got to go get a bottle of water or something. Sorry about that, guys. My uh, throat was getting sore. Oh, look at him. Look at him. I love these guys. For some, I could not remember the middle evolution. I'm like, it's not Score Bunny or Cinderace. I couldn't remember the middle one. Yeah, what's it saying, Pikachu? Yeah, it wants us to be quiet because it's trying to think up a practice routine. I see. Let's leave it alone. I mean, it's, I love its little hand pouches. You know, as far as middle evolutions go, Raboot's not 
bad. It's not great. It's not bad. <laughs> Unmoving is a tree. I was just thinking it's not a place for a tree, but it's actually a Pokemon. It's pseudo Wudo, pseudo pseudo, practicing your tree imitation. Uh, seems like it's gonna block out traffic. When practice, I need to do it somewhere else. Location totally blows a cover. Uh, that derpy Pokemon. Let's see anybody? Anybody need uh, need any help? Uh, Pokemon to drink from. My Serena really loves water here. Okay. Dude, this thing standing on its hind light, it just looks weird. This is one of those like 3D sprites did not help it. It's being awfully friendly. Okay. Because what in the in the 2D sprites, Proloin um, sat on its uh, sat on all four legs, didn't it? Someone must have replanted that tree. <laughs> Replanted that tree. That's it's funny. Ah, cute fly. You there? Wait, you wouldn't happen to be that great detective duo, would you? You wouldn't be Harry the heroin dealer, would you? <laughs> Sorry. I am such a huge fan of yours. I think I'm funny. <laughs> oh, here I forgot. The... <coughs> Excuse me. Shit. My name is Charles Murloc. See, I I hate it. You you do the do the the voice acting for. I'm like you, you're you're paying him to be in the booth. Pay him for the full hour. Do get more dialogue out of him. Come on. Stop making me do the work. I'm a scientist working here in Rhyme City to deepen our understanding of Pokemon. Scientist, huh? What's that? You'd like to hear more about what I do? Actually, I. My research has been reorganized by uh, Mayor Myers himself. Now I've been helping out with a new policy that he and the city council are working on. You might say I'm the brains behind Rhyme City's latest policies. This guy is intense. And he seems like the type who doesn't even listen to what others are saying. If you two great detectives have any questions for me, by all means, fire away. After all, I have something in common with you both. We're all working to help Rhyme City. We're all coming from the same place, comrades with the same goals. So I'm prepared to answer any questions you have. Um, thank you? Guess our only choice is to play along for a bit. What a drag. Excuse me. What sort of research are you doing? My research explores the nature of communication between people and Pokemon. Sounds complicated. Nah, no, it's quite uh, simple, really. We just oh, we're just trying to help Pokemon understand human language. Imagine what that would do for Rhyme City. Oh, it would make life here so much more entertaining and simple. A whole city where people and Pokemon can go back and forth like we can, huh? Eh, really would make Rhyme City an even better place, don't you think? Excuse me. What exactly do you help the mayor with policy? Uh, with help the mayor with policy development. Oh, okay, okay. What exactly do you do to help the mayor? Okay, I was I, I was missing the second do in that sentence. I was like, something's not... That that just seems awkward. My domain is science, not politics. I can't actually propose new legislation. What I can do, though, is develop new machines and equipment. I also help distribute uh, them to the people of Pokemon and Rhyme... Uh, to the people and Pokemon of Rhyme City. I'm proud to contribute to my city with the power of science. That's wonderful. Isn't it? Mayor Myers came up with the idea for a bill to help people in Pokemon coexist, so I feel duty bound to use my position as a scientist to support it. Sound like he's warming up for a speech. I can tell how passionate you are about improving the city. Oh, can I ask you a favor, Pikachu? Would you allow me to give you a quick health exam? Ow! Hey, what'd you just do to me? <laughs> oh, it's okay, Pikachu. That was just a used needle. 
that I carry around with me for reasons. Oh dear, is Pikachu upset with me? I only plucked a bit of fur, and the test results should be ready in just a moment. What exactly are you doing? You know, I always forget that Pikachu is actually covered in fur and not just yellow. Like I like I'm serious. Like I, I just to me I'm like, oh, that's just Pikachu's skin. You can measure some Pokemon's vital signs in record time. In other words, this may quickly check the Pokemon's health. Uh, I'd say that's a good thing for both uh, people and their partners. Uh, sure, sounds like it. Way to bury the lead. Okay, it's ready. Now let me see. Hmm, what's it say? It's detecting caffeine? Someone say caffeine. Seeing as he's working as a detective, I figured this was no ordinary Pikachu. But these results are truly fascinating. Uh, hello, Mr. Mur Murloc? Ah, do forgive me. He's quite alright. No problems at all. I suppose his triglycerides are a bit high for a Pokemon. My what? He does seem slightly different from a regular Pikachu, though. Yeah, he's wearing a hat. That's what makes him a detective, by the way. Is there something weird about me? Yes, your hat. Um, well, now that you've finished your checkup, I think we better get going. Ah, yes, yeah, sorry to have taken up so much of your time. Good luck, great detectives. Thank you. Come on, Pikachu, stop sulking and let's go. High triglycerides. I don't know shit about health, so... Is that... Is that bad? Wait... Oh, nope. I thought this was like a gazebo or something, so maybe Ponyard was here. Ah, Phalanx! I love these things. A lot of amazing Pokemon. Um, dude, I always thought they should have had like a Gigantamax form where there was like... It, it kind of looked like a, like a Megazord, but built up of a whole bunch of tiny little Phalanxes. I always thought that would have been really cute. <sighs> this is the top, yeah? Look at that, Pikachu. Huh? From here you have a perfect view of the dentist residence. And the open window. Hmm. Hey Tim, what are you thinking? Pretty sure that window is the one in front of the jewel storage room. Pokemon capable of flying could go straight into the mansion from here. Yeah, if our thief was getting uh, help from a Pokemon, this would be the perfect vantage point. This is where the Whimsicott usually meet up with Ponyard, the, right? That's what they said, but I don't see it anywhere. If it was here earlier, maybe it left some kind of sign. Well, Ponyard is known, uh, are known for their blades. It's not much, but. It's the only lead we've got. We better get looking. Didn't we see a big cut-up stone? Probably fell from the Whimsicott. Torn up leaves, uneven edges. You suppose Ponyard did that? Looks like it's bitten, not cut. Interesting. What's up with this rock? It's covered in gashes. Has something been scratching at it? These gashes look like they were left by something sharp, like a blade. Hmm, I doubt a human would be strong enough to make clean cuts like these. Yeah, no shit. Okay, I saw that. I saw the... Oh, okay. Okay, let's start deducing. I guess we gotta start deducing. Ah, okay. Okay. Did you figure out where the red Pokemon is? Okay. 
We found the rock covered in slashes as if it had been cut up by sharp blades. Maybe those slashes were made by Ponyard. I always forget they don't have little hands. I always think Ponyard has little hands. Forgot, no, it has little, little swords. Definitely the rock that the Whimsicott were talking about. So if we go to where that rock is, we might find Ponyard there. All right, let's take a look around that rock. Got the face Pikachu made wow. with the open mouth. It's great. Can you think of any way to draw Ponyard here? Oh! Wimscott said that Ponyard got angry when they stepped on the rock. Yeah, you're right. Good memory. Maybe Ponyard will show up if one of us climbs on it. Worth the shot. Let's give it a try. How's this? I just hope it actually uh, it's actually here to see you. Pawn. What? It's Ponyard. Just like Whimsicott said. Pawn, pawn, pawn. Okay, it's saying, Darest thou tread upon my cherished rock? What is the meaning of this? Thine answer shall determine thy fate. I will show thee no mercy. Wait, what? Wow, it's really angry. Sorry, we just wanted to find you. We weren't trying to mess with your rock or anything. Whew, thank goodness. It said it'll forgive us, but just this once. You want to know why we were looking for you? Fair enough. We've got some questions we'd like to ask you. Would you mind talking with us for a bit? says it'll talk so you've been traveling all over as part of your journey to warriorhood I'm sorry did you just say journey to warriorhood apparently it travels all over the place to practice and improve its moves it says that because it was born with these blades it wishes uh, nothing more than to master them easily slice a rock in two. This might sound a bit strange, but you haven't uh, punched anyone recently, have you? Ponyard says it never punched a single person or Pokemon in its life. Eh, good point. You could cut something with those hands of yours, but you definitely couldn't punch it. Yeah, on second thought, you'd wind up with a different injury if you were punched by a Ponyard. You had to be a stab wound. Are there any other Ponyard in the city besides you? What's it saying? Apparently it's never seen any other Ponyard. We heard from some Whimsicott that they went to the Mr. Dennis uh, went to Mr. Dennis's mansion. Were you the one who went there with them? Ponyard's not sure if it was the same place, but it vaguely remembers going to a big house. It says it entered the house together with the Whimsicott. How did you get inside the mansion? Apparently, <laughs> oh my god, that's adorable. <laughs> I can't look at it. Apparently, Ponyard likes to get picked up and flown around by the Whimsicott. So you think you might have gotten inside the mansion that way? <laughs> did you happen to cut a jewel case when you were in there? So you can remember the sensation of cutting through something, but the rest is a blur. Hmm, this is important, so please try to remember. It says its mind feels all foggy, and it just can't remember what was going on at the time. It sure makes things difficult. Uh, have you seen Ducklet anywhere around here? Hasn't seen her. Great. Where could, Duck go where could Ducklet have gone? We ma finally managed to find Pawniard. But we weren't able to learn anything useful from it. Yeah, and some of what it said even contradict the testimony we gathered earlier. Maybe we could get more information if we had proof that Ponyard entered the mansion. It's asking if we're done here so we can go back to training. What sort of training does it do? It's planning on cutting rocks and things to sharpen its skills with and blades. Cut rocks. Huh. Would it be willing to demonstrate for us? Ah, good idea. It would be a big help if we could uh, see what a cut from Ponyard looks like. Yeah, it says it would happily grace us with the demonstration. Thank you. We'll watch quietly so you can focus. Whoa. 
That's so stinking cute. Oh. Huh, this clean slice and the metallic sound. Ponyard's blade made when it came into contact. All matches with what we know of the crime scene. That means the Pokemon that entered the mansion must have been Ponyard. Neither Whimscott nor Ponyard remembers clearly. What's up with that? Can't imagine that the Pokemon are lying. Their behavior was pretty unusual, but there must be a good reason for it. I don't think we'll figure out what's wrong in their memories until we investigate a bit more. Right, let's do what we came uh, for right now. We should consider looking for Ducklet now that we found Ponyard. Barn said he... Tim, Tim. Yes, so Pikachu. Your hands are blades, huh? Wow, that's pretty neat. Ah, yeah. <laughs> All right, my dudes. I think this is where we're going to call it quits for today. I know. Really, AJ? You, you're just doing all these hat short parts for this? It's kind of... With Pokemon games, I feel like 30 minutes just feels a little little more solid. Mix that with any game that I have to read in. I, it just always makes me, makes me sleepy. How wonderful to meet you, Detective. Seriously, it's an yes. honor. Uh... Yeah, nice to meet you too. Can I help you, or... Huh? Do you not really know who I am? I'm kind of a big deal on the Rhyme University campus, and I know you go to school there too. Know anything about the so-called big deal, Tim? Her or 2K and Sam over there. They call me the quiz professor. I'm actually still a student, but that's what they call me. And this is my partner, 2K and Sam. Is it Toucanon? Is that how that's pronounced? So you're uh, the quiz professor? That's me. I'm majoring in Pokemon studies. Can't resist sharing the knowledge I've... Uh, this quiz professor is definitely on the eccentric side. I'll admit you got me there. And Pikachu doing detective work is pretty eccentric too. Yeah, you know, and also wearing hats. I'm not, I'm not going to stop bringing that up. Why don't we celebrate our meeting with a quiz? Um, we're pretty busy working on a case right now. Okay, here's the first question. In one ear, out the other. Uh, well, guess it can't hurt playing along. Guess, here goes. What Pokemon catches prey using its long tongue? The Pokemon in question is somewhere in the city, so go out there and look for it. Oh, uh, what's your tongue like, Toucanon? Mind opening up that beak of yours? I mean, the answer is going to be a lick -a tongue Or a licky-licky, but I'm guessing lick -a tongue Nothing extraordinary here. Thanks, anyway. A Pokemon with a long tongue, huh? If there's one nearby, it shouldn't take too long for us to find it. When you find the Pokemon in question, come tell me what it is. I'll be waiting right here. Answer correctly, and I'll even teach you some trivia about it. Well, I mean, we know there's a, there's a lick -a tongue in... Loading in the the area. <laughs> Licked every flavor life has to offer. Some implications with that, but okay. That's a long tongue. I'm amazed it stretches so far. Say, Tim, this lick -a tongue might be the answer to that quiz question. Tell the quiz professor. Beep, beep, beep. So, detective, did you figure out the answer yes. to the question? I sure did. It's Lickitung. Bingo, you got it. Lickitung uses its long tongue to catch its prey. According to the report, paralyzation. Oh, wow. Good thing it didn't get licked. I'm feeling itchy just imagining it. Thanks for the warning, Toucan, uh, Toucan Sam. Uh, keeps its tongue to itself. Well, that was only the first question. I guess it was a little too easy. Are you saying there's more? Of course. And here's where they get serious. Time for question number two. What Pokemon uses its cute looks to put you off guard so it can steal from you? Okay, we don't have time to deal with another theft. 
Hmm, what Pokemon tries to steal from people? I think the cute looks part is our biggest hint. Pretty sure it's not you, Tukanon. Totally. Okay, Tim, let's go search the area. It was the uh, the purloin, because it, it said something about, in its original description, about being a thief. Uh, all right, guys. Like I said, if I, if I don't cut here, I'm going to be running back and forth and all this, and I... Just got word that my food is here. So, biggest reason why we're cutting now. I'm hungry. So, thanks for watching, guys. As always, social media in the description. Like, comment, subscribe if you're not already. If you're watching this today, it comes out. Come back tomorrow. Uh, Spider-Man 2 uh, will be an all-day thing on the channel. So, thank you so much for watching, guys. Social media is down in the description. Like, comment if you're not already. Please subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more next time. But until then, I'm out.